We know that every morning, the first thing we do when we wake up is we say, Moda'ani lefanecha, melech hayom, thank you, Hashem, the, the king of the world, bi nishmasi, that you return my neshama to me. And this is recited immediately upon awakening. It's quoted in the Mishnah Bura in Simon Aleph, that as soon as we wake up, this is the first thing we should do while we're still in bed, uh, before, before we do anything else. And there are two important points mentioned in the Mishnah Bura in regards to Moda'ani. The first is where we put the comma, where we put the pause, that we say, as I said already, Moda'ani lefanecha, melech chai v'kayom, shehechazarta binishmasi, and then the next words get a little bit confusing. The next words, many say, Bichem l'rabo emunosech. However, that's inaccurate. That doesn't really mean all that much. That means with tremendous compassion, emunosecha, your faith. Rather, Mishabura writes, what it, what the way it should be said is, Bichem l'kama, rabo emunosecha. That you've returned my neshama to me with tremendous compassion and grace. Rabba Emunasecha, great is your faith. It's a quest, separate, separate question of what does it mean that great is God's faith, but, uh, but the comma, it's important to put that the phrase is Bechem lo comma, Rabba Emunasecha, that we group together the last two words of Rabba Emunasecha. The second point, which the Mishnah Bura points out, is that even though we require Nitilas Yadayim to wash our hands before reciting any other before reciting tefillah, before we're learning Torah, etc., etc., we need immediately to wash the Yadayim. However, when it comes to saying Moda'ani, Mishabura points out that it's not necessary to wash Yadayim prior to reciting Moda'ani because we don't actually say Shem Hashem, we don't say the name of God in the passage of Moda'ani. And therefore, he writes that uh, we can say it prior to washing Yadayim. An interesting question that arises is what about after a nap? So what's fascinating is Reb Chaim Kanievsky actually writes that misvara, from logic, from a logical standpoint, it would actually make sense that we should recite Moda'ani from uh, after a nap. After all, when we take a nap, the same miracle that Hashem does, that he returns our neshama, as he does after we wake up in the morning, does the same thing when we wake up from a nap. Sleep is sleep. So says Reb Chaim Kanievsky, it makes sense logically that we should require to, that, we should, that we should have the practice of saying moda'ani uh, when one wakes up from a nap. However, he does conclude, even though he writes that it is logical, he does conclude that that's not the accepted practice, and therefore uh, we need not do that. However, it is, uh, fr- from a logical perspective, it would seem to make sense, and therefore it would make it, we should at least, even if we don't say moda'ani, uh, it's certainly not the minute to say moda'ani, but, uh, but it is worthwhile to at least, in our minds, think and 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 be makir tov to HaKadosh Baruch Hu for the miracle of, of waking us up every time he does. Uh, but again, clearly it is not the accepted practice that after a nap we do say, we, that it is not the accepted practice that after a nap to say Moda'ani. Uh, certainly it is when we, when we wake up. Uh, but uh, we should always be, be grateful when Hashem returns our neshama after a nice sleep. Have a great day.